Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun nail art tutorial for these really adorable unicorn nails with some holographic stuff. So I really love these. I hope you guys do too and let's just get right into it. In order to create the unicorn nail, I am using this Tumblr Girl stamping plate from Moyu London. I will leave the link below. This is plate number one from their Tumblr Girl collection. And you, there's so many cute designs, but I'm going to be using the unicorn one. And I'm also going to be using their crystal clear stamper. This is probably the best stamper I have. It's absolutely amazing. It works so, so well. So that's what I'll be using for this video. So I'm going to be doing a reverse stamp, so to get the outline for the unicorn, I am applying some black stamping polish and getting the design onto my stamper. So to remove any unwanted parts of the design, I am just taking a piece of tape and just carefully removing that. And yeah, I just didn't want the stars. If you want the stars, just leave them, but I didn't want them. And then also the stamp didn't really pick up all of the designs so I'm just taking a small nail art brush with some black nail polish and just creating that design. So reverse stamping is actually really cool. You have to fill in the colors backwards and then when you flip over the design to put it on your nail it's all filled in for you. So I'm taking some rainbow pastel colors and filling in the unicorn's mane. So I used way too many colors for this to link them and list them below, but if you'd like to know any colors I'm using, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to tell you what color I am using. So I'm just taking a toothpick and filling that in because it's a very small area so you want to be careful and definitely use a toothpick because it's got a smaller point rather than a dotting tool. You could use a dotting tool if you have one small enough, but I liked my toothpick because yeah, why not? <laughs> the unicorn's horn, I am using a silver holographic polish to fill that in. And then I'm taking my toothpick and making a black dot for the eye, but you'll see later on in the video that I didn't wait long enough for this to dry apparently because as I'm filling in that white area, the black dot kind of got mixed in. So yeah, I'll show you that in just a second, but now I'm just filling in the head with white. And then I'm applying a thick layer of top coat right to my stamper so then I can make a little decal to put onto my nail. While I wait for the decal to dry, I'm applying two thin coats of white nail polish to my ring finger nail because that's what I wanted for the accent nail of the unicorn. And then once it was dry enough to flip over, I flipped it over and then right onto the stamper I put it back and I saw that the white was kind of mixed with black so I just went over it with white again and then I also made the black dot for the eye because that was missing as well. My decal is still kind of wet, but if yours is completely dry, you're going to want to apply a thin layer of clear nail polish to your nail before applying the decal, but since mine was still wet, I was just able to press it down firmly and it stuck right onto my nail perfectly. To melt away the excess top coat, I'm just taking a cleanup brush and some acetone and cleaning up around my nail and melting that top coat away and it works like a charm. Then to seal in the unicorn, I am applying a thin layer of fast drying top coat and that's it. So here's the finished look. I really love how these turned out. I think they're so fun and cute. Definitely check out the link below where I will leave where you can get this plate because it has so many cute designs. I love unicorns so I love this look. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye!